welcome or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny. And today, guys, I am at Rally's. Or depending on what part of the U.S. you live in, it could be called Checkers. So it's Rally's for me. I'm in Ohio. They got a new Buford, guys. They got a fried mushroom Buford. And I got the combo. Now, I'm going to get it out for you. I'm going to inspect it before I wreck it. I'm going to tell you what I like or don't like about this sandwich. I'm going to rate it from 1 to 10. 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. And if that sounds good to you, please show the subscribe button some love. It's easy. It's free. It's simple. Show it some love, guys. It's down below. Click it, boop it, smash it right there where it says subscribe. <laughs> and if you've already subscribed or if you don't want to subscribe, please give me a thumbs up. It just helps out, helps support my channel, helps me keep doing reviews for you guys. And I want to tell you guys, my overall goal is to save you guys money, right? I want to try out the new items and tell you if they're good enough for you to go spend your money or save your money. That's, that's my goal, guys. That's what I'm doing these reviews for. I'm also doing these reviews for my Penny Pinchers crew. So if you subscribe, it's free. You become part of my Penny Pinchers crew. You get to watch my reviews and interact with me. Leave me comments, what you would like to see me do. What you would, you know, maybe to improve my channel if you have some opinions on that. That'd be great too. Um, all of my Penny Pinchers crew, everybody that has subscribed so far, has been so respectful and so supportive. And I just want to keep this group growing and, and being in that mindset. We're respectful, supportive, and it's just love here, guys. It's just love. So let's get this food out. Let's taste it. Let's see what it's all about, right? So it's a fried mushroom uh, Buford. I got the combo. And I'll tell you what's on this sandwich before we get it out and inspect it, right? I wrote down exactly what... <laughs> Some of these uh, descriptions of these sandwiches drive me insane. They're just so funny. So let me read this to you. So it's a two 100% uh, hand-seasoned beef hamburger patties on a sandwich. Hand-seasoned? Hope it ain't hand-seasoned, but you know what they mean. They seasoned it by hand. <laughs> it just cracks me up. I don't know who writes this stuff. Topped with Swiss cheese, crispy battered fried mushrooms, savory mushroom sauce, caramelized onions on a toasted bakery style bun. Let's get this out. Let's taste it. We've talked about it long enough. I got the combo. I also saw that they had fried mushrooms like as a side, so I had to get those two to try them out. But I got the combo, guys. I got your seasoned fries. Now, this is supposed to be a medium combo, and I feel like this fry is awful small for a medium. What's a large look like? I don't know. We'll find out. This cracks me up too. This mushrooms, fried mushrooms, $2.99. And I'm telling you, there's probably, they're about this big. Can you see how big that is? It's probably only like six or eight of them in there. $2.99 they charge for that thing. Wow. Wowie, wow. Let's try a French fry. Now this is their seasoned fries. You can see the seasoning on it. I like that they're crispy. They got salt on them. Okay, hold on. This is a medium too and it's awful big. So anyway these fries let's talk about these fries really quick they're seasoned they're crispy we got lovers of these rallies checkers fries now they are pretty good tasting fries guys you know you still could taste the potato you could taste that like peppery i don't know what the seasoning is and it's the crunchy i'm gonna rate those as a fry, you know, you can't do much to fries, but to make them their own, they're kind of their own thing, right? I'm going to rate them. Let 
An 8.5 on the fries, guys. I am. Those fries are halfway decent. My nose is wanting to itch now. What's what's up with me? Before we get into this, I already told you how much the mushrooms were. This sandwich, before we get into it and actually look at it. This uh, medium fried mushroom Buford combo. Here in Ohio, they're charging $9.18 for the fries, the sandwich, and a medium soda. Or medium drink, whatever. These prices, guys. <laughs> these prices are crazy. Crazy. I can't get over how crazy they are. But what are we going to do, right? It's inflation. They're having to pay more for the workers. And then us as the consumers have to pay more for the product. Ugh. My oh my. Okay, let's check out this big new big Buford, guys. The bun looks really good. I'll have to say that much. I'm going to try to give you a 360 of it here. Oh, not, oh man, one of my mushrooms fell off. Good thing I got more. There's a 360 of what I'm looking at. Let's open it up. Let's inspect it before we wreck it. I got to move this. That thing was, that wrapping was driving me insane. Let's inspect it before we wreck it. I'm glad I got more mushrooms because my main mushroom fell on the floor. Um, Looks like it's got mayo on it. I didn't know that it was supposed to get mayo. I didn't read mayo. I didn't ask for it. It's got onions. It's got the fried mushrooms. It's got two hamburger patties. So it's supposed to be Swiss cheese. Those are just raw onions. It's supposed to be caramelized onions. What are you going to do, guys? Nothing on the bottom. Looks like kind of like a buttered, somewhat toasted bun. What are you going to do? Stay tuned to the end of the video. I got a little segment I'm going to start calling drive through Drama. And I'm gonna, I got a story for you for from today, right? Before I get, on to, get into this, please share my, uh, feel free to share any of my videos or feel free to tell your neighbor, your friend, your brother, your sister, your mother, your father about Penny's Two Cents. We need more subscribers, guys. We're building every day, but we just need more, okay? That's all. Just a little support. I just need, I need a little push. Maybe let's try this burger. Oh, and I see the mushroom sauce, too. Can you see it? Like, like right there is like some mushroom sauce. Let's get a couple bites, I'll tell you. I got something on my face? I do. Mm. Okay, it's been a while since I've had a Buford, and this is not the typical Buford, right? So let me get another bite. Buns wanting to hang down. Okay. They say this hamburger patty is hand season. Let's find out. There is absolutely no seasoning on a hamburger. Absolutely none. There's no salt. There's no pepper. There's no garlic. There's no seasoning. It tastes like straight, bland hamburger. Period. Now, this cheese is supposed to be Swiss cheese. Okay. It's like... The processed Swiss cheese you buy at, at uh, the grocery store, the one that's wrapped in the cellophane, sliced. It, it's got a little of a Swiss cheese taste, but it's like a processed American with a little Swiss cheese in it, flavoring in it. It's not real Swiss cheese. I would have loved real Swiss cheese on this. <laughs> now, 
the uh, mushroom sauce. What do they call it? The savory mushroom. What do they, what do they call that? The savory mushroom sauce. That's what they call that. It, it's it's like a it's almost like a gravy, <laughs> like a creamy, with a little bit of a mushroom, artificial mushroom flavor kinda. Now it's not off putting. I wish I would have had bigger chunks of mushroom on here. Okay. This bun's nice and soft too. It's got a real yellow hue to it. Bun's got like a little bit of a sweet taste to it. Okay. Okay. Thinking of a score here, guys. One being the worst, ten being the best. A five on my scale is don't buy that. Leave it there. Don't waste your money, okay? It's above a five. It's definitely not a nine. A nine and a ten to me is, oh my gosh, when I go to rallies, I'm gonna I'm gonna wanna get this sandwich all the time. I'm gonna tell everybody about it. You know, that that's that's a nine or a ten for me. So this sandwich, the way I received it today. It's an eight. I think it would have been higher if I would have had more of the fried mushrooms on it that you were supposed to have. I think it would have been higher if the caramelized onions would have been on there. And I think the mayo does kind of lend a little bit of the creaminess to it. So I think the mayo does help. I don't know if they typically put that on there. It doesn't say that they do, but. So yeah, it's an eight. It's an eight. The way I got it today. Now these mushrooms, this is $2.99 for these. Oh my gosh, they're so small. The biggest one is one I ate. They look a little sad. But they don't taste too bad, but they're kind of dry. Like a typical mushroom that you get, you know, fried mushroom. I think most of you, if you like fried mushroom, you want it to have it be a little spongy a little like not i don't want to say juicy but you want them to be like more like a mushroom these things are so shriveled up and dry that i really don't even know i'm eating a mushroom they're okay they're okay uh those fried mushrooms as a side they're way too expensive 2.99 but I think they're worth trying. They're like a 5.5. .5. They're just barely worth trying. If they were more like a typical spongy mushroom, and you could taste the mushroom, and you knew what you were eating, the breading on it's pretty good. I mean, this because it's kind of got like a almost like a chicken breading on it. You see that? Burning on it pretty good. It's got a little salt. But the mushroom needs to be more of a plumper mushroom, not a little dehydrated thing. Anyway, guys, that's it for the review. Now, this segment, I'm going to start calling the drive through drama, right? So here's my drive through drama for today. I figured some of you might get a little laugh out of it. So our rallies here in Ohio, the one I go to, when you pull up to order your food, it's a com it's a computer voice that asks you what you want. Okay? It says, "Do you want to have, you know, do you want the Buford combo?" And I'm like, uh, I was looking to a computer, so I was kind of like lost for words. So I was like, "No, I don't want that. I want, you know, a fried." mushroom buford combo it says you're supposed to be able to get a small medium large 
<laughs> this says, do you want medium or large combo? So I took the medium. I didn't want to argue with the computer. I didn't know if I even had a chance to argue with the computer. <laughs> okay, so anyway. That's great. I also then said I wanted a, an order of the fried mushrooms for the side. <laughs> and I said, okay. It told me my total. The total sounded right. So it sounded like it got what... And I think it repeated back what I ordered. It sounded right. I said, that's it. This says, here's your, you know... Please pull up to the window or whatever it said. And I pulled up to the window. And yeah, we're always in a hurry, right? We get our bet. We give them our card. They, you know, run it through the computer. They give us our drink. They hand us the bag. And something told me, just look in the bag, Penny. Just look in the bag before you drive away. I was like, why is this bag so light? It's supposed to have a sandwich. A big Buford in there, right? This bag is so light. I look in there. I have two orders of these little dried up fried mushrooms and french fries and a couple and a couple of these ranch sauces in there. I'm like, dude, where's my burger? And he's like, he's like, well, I paid, what was my total? My total was $12.31. I'm like, it's going to be a sad day. If two little orders of these mushrooms and a french fries is $12.31, he's like, I'm like, there's supposed to be a sandwich in there. And he's like, oh. So I handed him the whole bag back. And then that scares you, right? Because you hand him the whole bag back and you're like, what? Are they going to do anything to my sandwich? Are they going <laughs> to. It's just, it, it's like a paranoia of mine. I've worked in the food industry. I've seen other people do crazy stuff to food. And I hate to say that, but I have. So anyway, he brings back my sandwich, you know, my whole bag back. I thought, well, maybe they'll leave that extra mushroom in there. Oh, no, they took that one out and left me these dry ones. <laughs> so I have my mushrooms, I have my french fries, and I have my sandwich, and I'm like, okay, that's good enough. <laughs> that's good enough. Okay, guys, so <laughs> that's my drive through drama for today. Now, some days there's no drive through drama. Some days the drive through is working smoothly but today i talked to a computer and i didn't have all my stuff well anyway that's it that's all i got for today guys i hope you have a great lunch or a great dinner or a great late night snack but most of all i hope you have a great day i hope you have the greatest day today i feel like that that's that should be said the greatest day today Anyway, until next time, bye-bye.